Mark Perry first began exploring Treasure Coast waterways as a child in the 1950s and 60s. When I grew up here, we didn't have a care in the world. That's Mark Perry on the left with his brother. Good memories. We caught fish everywhere. It was shellfish, fish, everything you could never worry about. The algae blooms or bacteria or anything. In 1978, a few years out of college, Perry came home to find water quality in the St. Lucie Estuary and Indian River Lagoon in decline. In 78, uh, when I kind of took over and we started going, was to do a St. Lucie Estuary conference. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time we brought together all the jurisdictions, the district, the Corps of Engineers, yep. all these jurisdictions around the estuary and said, hey, this is important. So Perry decided to take up the reins of a Florida Oceanographic Society about to fold. Perry never left. Biggest successes since you came on board in the way we treat the estuary system. Uh, well, I think we, we've recognized we can't continue to pollute it and it's going to just survive. That's about 17 inches. So. Like a good trauma doctor, he monitors vital signs. We should see bottom here. A measuring disc disappears in the pollution-filled estuary. So I hold it up. And this little device samples water for salt content. Yep. Right about 15. Too much freshwater runoff is diluting the salty ocean water needed for marine life to thrive. This air, the middle estuary should be about 20 to 25 parts per thousand. Measuring success one day, one fight at a time. This was the, the hearing back in 2013. That was the lost summer of 2013. Thick, toxic blue-green algae, much of it pumped east from Lake Okeechobee that awful summer. We held up bags of algae. We said, look, this is not acceptable. And it built up so bad in the marinas and everywhere, but people couldn't breathe. Here we are 10 years later, and we're, we're still just about to get the same kind of thing that happened. But Perry won't give up. He never has. We were saying here, now's the time to buy the land and get, move the water south. More water will move south to a new reservoir in the next decade, and there's far more attention to discharges from Lake Okeechobee than there once was. I see other people believing in what we need to do. Believing in no small part because one man decided long ago to act. When they think of Mark Perry, what do you want him to say? Uh, just, just that he, was, he fought the fight. He was doing it the whole time. And he em empowered other people to do the same. He, em he got other people rallied together to help do the fight. In Stewart, Michael Williams reporting.